founded by Marvin Felix Camillo. Your father did so much, and we're going to continue on. Pancho had with his such great loving heart. So fabulous TV, and I'm your host Angelica Kenton, and we are here with Rick Reed. How was this wonderful organization established? Uh, the organization was founded by Marvin Felix Camillo, who was conducting drama workshops in New York institutions. Some of the guys, when they came out, wanted to continue afterwards, so they asked Marvin to continue, and Miguel Pinero, who had written the play Short Eyes. Um, collaborated with Marvin along with other uh, members. What's the biggest thing that you've learned inspiration wise as an artist being a part of La Familia? You know always feel that you can do whatever it is that you really want to do. Don't let the fact that there's uh, some type of standard or some kind of acceptable means to do something just simply do it. You know that's what Marvin always did. He allowed people to simply go into something without any experience whatsoever and that brought a lot of people out and showed a lot of people's potential talent. Back here on So Fabulous TV and we're here today for the Rosa, um, I go by Poetic. I've done a lot of movies, a lot of independent films. Juan Shamsu Alam has always helped me out. I've been in a lot of his productions. He did a wonderful performance today. What, what genre of music do you do? I do like a hip hop. I mess around with a lot of R&B, reggaeton. I do a lot of everything. So how does it feel being like the younger generation of, of La Familia? Like? Everybody's allowed, so it teaches me a lot of unity, a lot of respect for other people. I'm so excited today because the cantante and who have we interviewed? We have interviewed Manny Perez, who played um, Hector Laveau's best friend, and you played Hector Laveau's brother-in-law in the cantante. So, and here we are in New York City hanging out with Anton. So, what are you doing right now? Uh, right now, I'm here celebrating the Familia re reunion, uh, coming back together after many, many years. Um, Marvin Pancho Camillo who uh, developed Short Eyes, and he also developed Mikey Pinero's work. And these brothers were in the original production of Short Eyes, worked with Pancho Camillo, and we're going to keep the legacy going. And you guys are working on anything else? But, hey, working? look for me in the 50 uh, Cent movie called Before I Shop the Struck. Right. Honey, I'm so excited to be surrounded by all these stars, these men, fabulous. And this is Soy. I gotta wash my face. I gotta wash my face. And we're at the Intra Theater with two fabulous men. We have here Juan. Shamsul Alam. I know how to say it. I just froze. Okay. <laughs> and then we have um, Marvin Camilo Jr. I know you guys used to go to the jails and so forth. Are you going to start doing that again? Yeah, I definitely would love to do that. Uh, I'm a firm believer that uh, where you start is where you end. Uh, not yeah. only are we going to do live theater, but we're going to be doing a film oh, called uh, Once Upon a Time in the Barrio, The Dragons, and Barrio, The Dragons. And, uh, and other things. And we're gonna definitely go, not just stage, but we're gonna go into the film. Your father did so much, and we're gonna continue on. You know, this little man, he made it a whole lot easier for me. And uh, this is our future right here. It was amazing. He got out there dancing with the family because he is gonna be either a dancer, a singer, or an actor. If you ever need him, <laughs> call me, I'm a agent. <laughs> 